Hey everybody, welcome back, it's Valagar Alavain, back for some more Dungeons and Dragons Online. Now if you want, we're here in Amarath, which is in the Plain of Shavarath. Now if you don't know how to get here, you can actually access this location either from the airship or from the Tower of Twelve. If you're looking for more information on that, check out the beginning of my weapons shipment video. I kind of detail again how to get here. So for this quest, it is bestowed by Gustor Miles. And it is the Wrath of Flame. So the easy way from this location where the quests are to get back up top is to actually just hop off. Um, if you have Featherfall, just take her off. You fall quick. You teleport and they port you right up to the very top. Basically like, here, let us catch you so you don't fall down. And yeah, then we can just head straight into the battlefield. And here we go. So for this quest here, it's kind of almost straight ahead from where we get in and facing. Though the actual way to get in and get to that point, it is a little off to the roundabout. Alright. So here we are, we're just going to essentially run, for the most part, straight. And then we're going to head up the hill here. Grabbing some nice kills along the way. Fish bag. Just kind of want to hug around the end. And here we go, right here. So, again, for these videos, we are just doing Elite because as we are level 21, it will not actually let us step in on Reaper as the quests themselves are still considered heroic. As they are not yet level 20 despite the difficulty pushing it up to level 21 and once we get in here we are gonna buff up and then we're just gonna head well deeper in and yes you'll notice the XP is not the greatest on this one So we kind of just, we'll see these people here. Now you can target the Lightbringer and actually talk with them. And as you see, we've got to find a way to actually get up there. So our first objective is, unfortunately, to kill off these Silver Flame. And again, just heading in. So while we're going, we are going to run into some prisoners. Now to release them, all you got to do is touch the button. And then you can actually talk to them and tell them they're free to go. Also notice we have other enemies here, like Archons, or rather, not enemies, but again, same thing, free them, and basically you can talk to them for a little bit of extra information, at that point she's going to bail. We're going to get assaulted here from behind. And defeating that group will push us forward in into the quest. Now, as we're going, we do have these guys. Now, you can choose to free him. 
unlike the others, oh no, this one here, as soon as they die, he uh, drops. I forgot about that. Uh, yeah, so it's not a button for this one. Um, I do apologize for that. Some of them there are buttons still for, uh, like this one here. They may attack. Um, I don't believe this one attacks here. Yeah. And basically, the best way here is to just anybody you can free them. Just why not? Now, once you fight the Lightbringer a little bit, it's gonna reveal that the Lightbringer is actually a succubus. At which point, all these Silver Flame Paladins that we've been killing throughout the quest are like, Hey, what's going on? And, yeah, so... That's why I said I kind of feel bad for killing them. Now, once they disappear, it is going to kind of open up a path right to the side. If we do continue down this path here, it just leads us back to the start, where Lightbringer was kind of talking to us up from above. So in order to continue through the quest, we do need to head south through our path here. Which, as you see, is sending out some enemies here. And here we will get to the kind of a tiefling stronghold. Now we do have a set of shrines and a lever. Pulling the lever will open up our door heading in south. Now this is where things get a little annoying. So we got this guy here. Now we can just beat him down. We can also go over here and each one of them have a lever and we can free them if you get the wrong answer they're gonna turn into a succubus and attack you Once you have the correct one, I'm just gonna spawn in a little group of guys and actually bring out one of our favorites here, Malicia. Probably one of my favorite succubus in the game. And I mean, they do keep bringing her back. Once she's defeated, that's it for the quest. All that's left is to, of course, grab your end loot. Now, you can get some named items, such as <laughs> the elegant hat here, which has some really nice effects on it there. As well, there are a few other named items, so I am going to give a reroll. And, of course, I got the elegant hat, so you know what? I think I'll look fancy. Anyway guys, that's it for this quest here. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later. Have a good one all.